claim it. And of course, climate denial in this country is far more vehement than it is anywhere else in the world, and it's fed and fueled by fossil fuel industries that wish to keep the status quo, which is primary energy generation based on fossil fuels rather than renewables. And this is where I think the university has to take a, a proactive role in connecting the scientific imperative with the societal imperative, with the moral imperative, which says immediately that divesting from fossil fuels is a very important part of the message that the university can send to the country and to the world. And you know, if I were 20 years old, yeah. I would be um, demonstrating in Harvard Yard for divestment because if you're 20, that's one of the most powerful things you can do as a student is to lead these demonstrations. And demonstrations in Harvard have been more active than any demonstration since the Vietnam War, pushing for divestment and pushing for recognition of how immediate this climate problem is. And the technology that's coming out of the chemistry department here and out of the School of Engineering we have, are making major advances. The issue is having the political system adjust and adapt to incorporating those into the primary energy generation structure for the country. So the speed at which these technologies are developing is adequate to keep up with the climate change, but they have to be incorporated immediately after they're developed. And one of the things about the United States, which is also true of China, is that both these countries have massive resources in solar and wind and geothermal. And this country could move very, very quickly to eliminate fossil fuels if they had the political will to do it, but the massive amount of money that's spent on misinformation um, really slows down the, the political agility on this question. In fact, you know, Congress right now is trying to not just eliminate renewable energy, but to eliminate research on climate problems. Mm -hmm. and this is really serious breakdown in the governments in this country.